Hey, hey, everybody, this is Mr. Perry, and here we are back at the Peerless Fabio Twins. And I just want to do a quick demonstration of how to create a procedure and how to program it to do what you want. Now, in this case, I'm going to teach Fabio on uh, how to shoot lasers in both directions. All right, that's a semi complex thing to put together, uh, but not too bad. A lot of people, when they code this game, they want to make uh, Mario fire something, um, you know, in both directions. And so for the sake of my game, again, I want to go with laser because I just think lasers are a, are a heck of a lot of fun. So again, um, I'm going to go ahead and make this to correspond with technically what is my B button on here, which I have coded to be uh, the S, the letter S on the keyboard. Um, my, I'm using my arrows to play mine, and then I'm using the A button and the S button to simulate uh, A and B. So the bit uh, for letter S is right here. So that's where I'm going to want to put my procedure. So I go down to uh, my blocks. I'm going to create a block, and this is going to be called Fire Laser. OK, and I'm going to say good to go. Um, I'm going to drag this define laser block thing over here and get that out of the way. And here we go, Fire Laser, uh, the puzzle pieces here. So I'm going to pop that in right there. So now this tells the computer, OK, if the bit string equals this, um, when I touch letter S, uh, fire that laser. Well, now I have to define what it means to fire laser. So here's the deal. Um, uh, right now, I am on the Mario or the Fabio code. And um, really, what I want to animate is the laser. So I went ahead and created a laser sprite. and um, I've already told it to go to Fabio and set its size to 25% because that was the, the proper you know, size for it on this screen. So when I define laser, when I, when I hit that S button, I've got to make Fabio send a message to the laser to go ahead and do what it's supposed to do. So all I'm going to do on Fabio is have him broadcast a message. All right. Um, when I press the S button, I'm going to run a procedure called laser. And uh, what the definition of laser means, well, the first thing that's going to happen is Fabio is going to broadcast a new message called uh, fire uh, laser. And I just like to observe whenever I do um, procedure names or variable names, I, I like to observe the same rules of um, naming things. So, you know, lowercase first word and then the second word is up, has the uppercase. And I put them together, and again, it's descriptive enough where I know what it means, but it's not super long. So fire laser is good for me. All right, so he's going to, um, oh, you know what? I don't really want him to wait. I put the wrong one on here. Let me pull this off, because I don't want Mario to stand still. I want him to still be able to run around and do stuff. So let's just go back to here, and we're going to say broadcast fire laser. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my actual laser sprite, and I'm going to make this say, when I receive fire laser, er, wrong one. When I receive fire laser, go to Fabio, set size to 25%. And then what I want it to do is I want it to move in that direction. So it's going to go to Fabio, it's going to resize itself. And really, I just want it to, want it to take uh, 10, I want it to just take steps, right? Um, so let's do like this. Let's do a repeat. I think maybe repeating this. Uh, I can probably do this as repeat forever. I'll have to troubleshoot this later and see if this repeat forever block actually is what I want it to do. Um, but it's going to move uh, 10 steps. Let's see what happens. OK. And then I probably want to put, I don't like the fact that it's still showing here, so I'll probably do if touching edge, have it uh, disappear. So I'll bring out that uh, if block. And um, I know we have some, oh, you know what, this might be in the looks category. Sorry about that, I found it now. So it's actually in the sensing category, I should have known that. So we have these blocks that say if touching stuff, so I'll bring this one out and pop it in here. And I'm going to say if, and it actually has the edge on here. That's already built in. So if touching edge, what I want it to do is disappear. So I'll go to looks, go down to 
hide, and then this should solve my problem. All right, let's try that again. If I click on it, and now it's not doing anything. Let's have it pop this show in here. Let's try it now. How was that? Did that work? Okay, so now it's doing what I want it to do. Let's have, let's have Fabio move over here a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna try my S button. Okay, so now when I press S, if I hold it, he'll hold on to it. If I let it go, boom, it fires away, all right? So that's pretty cool. Let's try this way. Uh-oh, wait a second, look at this. See, I'm facing the other direction and it's still firing behind me. So it looks okay when he's firing this way, but it doesn't look okay when he's firing this way. That means I actually have to add some additional code uh, on here. I want this laser uh, sprite to be smart enough to know when I'm facing in this direction. So what that means is I actually have to go back to my Fabio sprite and I'm gonna create another variable and I'm gonna call it Fabio direction. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is add this to um, the direction in which I'm running. So it says if bit string is this way and I'm running uh, towards the left, I'm gonna go ahead and set point in direction negative 90 and let's go ahead and set uh, Fabio direction to also be negative 90. So this is gonna basically store as a variable what direction I'm facing. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here if I'm running to the right when this bit string is uh, being used. I'm gonna say point in direction 90 and then set direction, oops, set Fabio direction to 90. So now I will be able to code this sprite over here to go in the different directions. Um, so it says forever, all right, and then what I'm gonna have to do is add some if blocks, and that will be under control, all right. Um, if, uh, let's see, let's pull this all out. And I will go to here and I will say if Fabio direction, uh, why is this not doing anything? There we go. So there we go. If Fabio direction equals 90, then go ahead and move 10 steps. And hey, if you're touching the edge, then hide. All right. And then I'll just go ahead and do this for now. I'll try this as another if block. I think this will work. I could have done this probably as an if else. Um, but let's go ahead and try this one. All right, well, if Fabio direction isn't equal to 90, then it must be negative 90. Okay, put that there and we will say negative 90. All right, and I actually want to be able to just duplicate this part. So I'll drag this out, click on it, go to duplicate, plug that in here, and then pop that back in here. All right, and then this one is actually going to go negative 10 steps. And then if touching the edge, then hide. All right, well, this is exciting. Let's try it out and see how we do. All right, for some reason, that sprite is still showing. That's kind of dumb. Uh, but let's see, uh, fire laser, boom, it goes that way, and then fire laser. Hey, look at that, I fixed it. He's now firing that laser in two different directions, all right? Now, I could probably go through and clean this up a little bit. I might speed the laser uh, up a little bit. Um, you know, again, I can, once I have the basic procedure working, I can then um, debug it and modify it and make it look super cool. So thanks for watching, hopefully this helps.